So again, we go back. Um, some knights are pointed to me. You know, and here's a here's another verse, Job 11:11. 11, 11, For he knoweth vain men; he seeth wickedness also. Will he not then consider? Job 15:31. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. Job 35:13. Surely God will not hear vanity; neither will the Almighty regard it. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. I mean, it's quite clear, again, emptiness, nothingness, vanity, emptiness, emptiness of speech, lying, and worthlessness. Your words are worthless to him if... you live a non-believer's lifestyle but in front of your peers or in front of you know good godly people you put on a show and deceive them by then like for example getting plastered the same night you know, just disregarding everything you talked about. You know, so that's, you know, I hope this uh, is kind of under, you know, this is a, uh, I hope this is understood by some of you. I hope uh, I explained it well. You know, um, this is definitely portions of scripture that I am familiar with, but I'm not familiar with breaking it down. You know, so I'm doing it the best I can. And uh, I hope it uh, reaches some of you. And so that's basically what I have to say on that. Commandment number three. I will skip four for now, and I will do that one last. Keep in mind, there's only one that says remember. One. One. Uno. Uno. <laughs> so. But. That, I think, covers the third commandment. So. I am going to be looking into the news, world events. Seems like there's a lot of interesting things happening. Um, I am going to do a little bit more on Elenin. I got a, you know, I, I got something I want to put up for you guys to look. That is quite interesting. Um, you know, I mean, you got this whole comet Elenin thing, which, you know, if it's for real. And it seems like every day there's more evidence saying that it is real, but it is not a comet. They're saying it could also this thing could also be controlled. Well, obviously it'd be controlled. I mean I would think God would be controlling it, right? I mean if he wanted it, you know, if he wanted it to be used to uh <coughs> perform end time events, listen to the book of Revelation, well, you know, yeah, I guess it would be controlled, huh? Not by some aliens. Not a UFO. I mean, hey, it might be, you know, but I, I don't really get too much into that. But, uh, <laughs> no. If, you know, it, there's a Russian, Russian news release saying that this thing is possibly controlled, and that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, well, yeah, of course it's controlled. I mean, if anything, if anyone's controlling it, it's God, right? <laughs> so, but I'm going to be 
going in more of that and uh, take a look at uh, some earth change news events. Um, maybe get an economic collapse blog in there. I'm not really sure yet. So stay tuned for that. Until then, stay safe. Truth be told, truth be known. God bless. Bye-bye.